Now, just before we put the shroud on, do yourself a favor and grab yourself a new uh, fuel line. And the fuel line gets fed back behind the flywheel. And this is a very difficult thing to do if the shroud is in place. So take the proper length of uh, um, fuel line. This one is approximately eighteen inches for this engine and you're going to feed it back behind the flywheel and this this metal shield that we put in place you want to tuck it behind there because obviously you don't want your fuel line getting caught up in the flywheel There's a groove here on that metal shield to kind of suggest to you where where you should feed it through. You turn on and look at this side. There's also a metal tab that's been bent out, and go make sure to go underneath that and inside there too. So you'll I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, the fuel line now does not touch the the flywheel at all. So that's what you want, and you could. You could adjust it in or out afterwards, but for now, make sure you put that flat, that uh, that fuel line in place, and then we'll get the shroud put on.